hello welcome once again to my channel so today what am i talking about last week a chief, the chief of oeb actually sent um, a letter or release a communique asking schools within the greater Accra region not to fade out gun from their syllables and then the uh, Valley View University also came out with a letter that says that they are not getting lectures to teach Ghan in their school. And I'm asking myself, who is responsible for that? Whose responsibility is it? What have we done to ourselves for over 60 years of independence? And then we are a very diverse country. We happen to be blessed with so many languages right here in Ghana. But when you go to all the sub-regions within Ghana, you have languages that are mostly spoken within all the sub-regions. So when you go to uh, the greater Accra region, it's Ghana. When you go to the northern region, um, I stand to be corrected, but I think it's uh, Dagomba. Among the southern parts, the Ewes, um, it's Ewe. And then among the Akans, a street, right? So why is it that after 60 years of independence, we are not looking at how to take this four major uh, dialects that are spoken in the country and use them as official languages? When you go to the sub-regions, you have other countries that have adopted their local dialects and turn them into official languages. You can take South African for example. They have 11 official languages. And you can write your exams in them, you can sign contracts in them, and you can use them for anything. Seychelles is another country, Lesotho, Kenya, um, Tanzania, and then the list goes on and on. But it looks more like the countries within West Africa are not doing anything and by uh, by that I mean Ghana because I'm Ghanaian we're not doing anything to be able to uh, use our local languages as our official languages when you go to the schools or even among parents you know it's become something that parents boast of that my child is able to speak like an American it's something that we boast about it's like, how is your child speaking? You want your child to be able to imitate the way Americans speak or the way in, uh, Europeans speak. Then that is the most accepted way of, of, of speaking now. And most parents do not even want to speak, speak the local dialect to their children at all. It is not spoken at home. It's as if we are waiting for the white man to come and tell us that, see, there is a link between identity and intelligence. And once they say that there is a link between identity and intelligence, then now we'll start looking at how to use our culture, to incorporate our culture into our educational system. Back in my days when I was in school, you get beaten for speaking vernacular, right? It was almost a taboo for you to be heard speaking the local dialect. If you are heard, you are beaten for speaking it. We actually became spies on each other and the names are written of people who have spoken their local dialect. So what are we doing as a people to ourselves? We've been able to watch other people take control over our culture. All the crafts work that have been left for us by our ancestors they've been taken away from us and it's a billion dollar industry now that other people are making money out of and we are here our local dialects are being studied elsewhere we are still waiting for the dialects in here in Ghana to go extinct then we will have other people coming here to teach us our own dialect then they make money out of it what exactly are we doing to ourselves as a people when will we start accepting ourselves for who we are and taking pride in what we are and what we have 
right so by this i'm saying that parents let's start there let's speak the dialect to our children and let's encourage more people to get degrees in the local dialect i know one celebrity in ghana who has a degree in tree and then a lot of people laugh at him because they said that is what he has a degree in and are we serious really what is wrong if someone has a degree in their local dialect shouldn't we be proud and happy and shouldn't we be imitating that making sure that we learn that and shouldn't we be encouraging government to actually find a way of making sure that we incorporate the uh, the tree the ewe the ga and then also the dagomba into uh, to turn those into our official languages it's about time we need to wake up nobody is making the conscious effort to um, make sure that we carry on our culture and we carry it with pride but individually we can do that once we get government to get that established so well the next time you find a parent taking so much pride in the fact that their children speak English and speak like an American or as an, uh, as an European. As that particular parent, if the children can speak their local dialect. Let's start from there. Let's encourage each other to speak our local dialects more and more. And let's get government to pass a law on getting us to use our local dialect as official languages. And stop punishing people for speaking the local dialect in school. Stop punishing children for 